Hi, my name is Dr. Naomi Bainey with Yost Wellness Center, and I wanted to talk today about diabetes, specifically type 2 diabetes. And did you know that 30 to 50% of the United States population has diabetes or has been diagnosed with prediabetes? What exactly is diabetes? Most of you know that it is too much sugar in the bloodstream. So how do you get that? That's from food. So we all take in food for energy, right? It's broken down to glucose. So you take it in, here's your gut, and then it's broken down to glucose and every cell in your body has to use that glucose for energy. And how do you get it into the cell? The pancreas makes insulin. And so here's your pancreas. The pancreas makes insulin and then it attaches to a receptor site on every cell and that allows for insulin to go into the cell and then insulin allows for glucose to be transported into the cell and then you make energy. So insulin is just as important as glucose because without insulin you can't get that glucose into the cell. So what happens when you eat too much and specifically too many refined carbohydrates and sugar? So you've got a lot of sugar in the bloodstream to be taken up by the cells and that means you have more the pancreas is working over time trying to get that um, insulin into the cell so that allows glucose into the cell and after a while this pancreas starts to kind of slow down but the most important thing for type 2 diabetes is these receptor sites just can't take up any more insulin and they just become fatigued they're adaptive they say no more I, there's too much sugar, I can't keep up. And then plus the pancreas is slowing down making the insulin. But the really big issue, and before you're diagnosed with diabetes, is this insulin resistance. And that means those receptor sites right here cannot take up any more insulin. <clears throat> so what happens? It stays in the bloodstream. So here's your bloodstream. The sugar stays in the bloodstream so does insulin, but sugar actually acts like little shards of glass and it nicks away on the inner lining of that blood vessel and then your body's really smart, you have an immune response, lays down cholesterol, and then guess what happens? Those blood vessels become more and more narrow because you've got plaque in there. So it just becomes narrow. And then you don't have the oxygen and nutrients that you need for every tissue in your body this is a big problem for um, people with heart disease because those arteries that supply the heart become narrowed and it's a big cause of heart attacks. It's a big cause of strokes. It's a big cause of eye problems, um, neuropathies. It's a huge, huge problem. This can be reversed. It can be prevented and that's why we're here today. We really wanna make sure that we're helping people and we don't just test for people's sugar in their bloodstream and do the HbA1c test, which is a 90-day test of how your blood sugar is, because that's not the big picture. That's not the total picture. We also test for insulin, because that gives us the whole picture. We know how much this pancreas is pushing out to try to keep up with the sugar in your body. <clears throat> so. We really look at all factors together, including your kidney function, um, liver function, 70 biomarkers that we look at totally. We'd be glad to help you here at Yost Wellness Center, and um, we would like to make sure that this doesn't become a big issue for you. Thank you very much.